Um, uh, so, heightened climate change, do we see more people buying our produce? The pandemic we did, uh, our sales quadrupled in two weeks. So, uh, I often liken that to, um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, uh, it's a slightly weird metaphor, but in, in, uh, in Venice, the absence of the cruise ships, the dolphins came back. Mm. So, in the pandemic, in the absence of something, which could maybe be the supermarket supply chain, um, local food blossomed and uh, uh, so so what I'm can, what we are seeing now with the recession is our sales are going down I think we're okay we can probably weather that so I don't think people are buying our food necessarily because of climate change they're buying it when they're frightened there isn't enough uh, or very you know some people will be choosing our food because of climate change and that was one thing I wanted to say that obviously everybody eats and so if you wanted to support regenerative farming the best thing you could do is switch your foods, buy your food from a regenerative farm. So that was the other part of the question is where do you buy it if you're not in Totnes? Well so Riverford supply organic vegetables all over the UK, Abel and Cole. If you're in somewhere like London there's farmers markets in every borough. Um, and it's a bit of chicken and egg in that if you're looking for that, you know, so we, some of the people we know around here are moving back up north to start their farms up there and they're worried there's not enough markets. So it's that thing of, you know, chicken and egg, uh, what, what has to come first? So, um, so if worse comes to worse, you can also, you know, you can buy these large scale veg boxes like Riverford or Abel and Cole, so that and they're nationwide. So if not, you just go and find one or or buy shares in the, something like the Biodynamic Land Trust and say, could you start one near where I am, please? 